Good evening, everybody. Hello. Trying to feel like a creepy church, so we're well on our way. Welcome to the first of many midnight suggestions. Yeah, we're really hoping this thing turns into like the Google wave of uh, Richmond Comedy. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, does anybody need a, uh, a Google wave invitation? If I still have some. If anybody needs one, let me know. You need, you need one? Hey, let's go Google something sometime. <laughs> but seriously, I hope everybody had a great time at work today, but I hope you came ready to learn and ready to laugh. We've got some killer brews to swig down. We've got some uh, totally high def comedy jamming up in your guts tonight. Uh, which of course begs the question, so what do beers do after work? <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, I'd really like to uh, thank Don Wade for showing up. Legendary Don Wade. Old school. For at least three or four years now? Yeah. Coming long, up on the scene? Long years. Keep, keep an eye out for him. I think he's part, are you, did you quit Souvenirs of America? Are you still? No, I quit still, that still in that? Okay. I'm still in that. Uh, and of course we've got, what are the other comedic talents we have tonight? We have uh, Mr. Nathan Plummer, who is yeah. apparently very funny for Woo. a waiter. <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, Chris Martin, that's yeah. right, who's apparently you're, you make uh, appearances quite frequently at Ella Thompson's. <laughs> <laughs> Behind it, even. Hey, nothing right? wrong with that. And Mr. Corey Marshall, is that right? Great. Right. Who has a lovely smile. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, before we get started, I feel I should preemptively apologize that uh, my, my roles, uh, I'm sort of going to be sort of up and, up and at them pretty quickly tonight. Um, my, my role, my duties this evening are going to sort of be a de demonstration of brevity because uh, I spent the larger part of this afternoon um, ingesting large amounts of Nescafe <laughs> in the hopes that I would uh, um, be able to trap Bin Laden's voice inside my head. Uh, I, I sort of had this sort of Jack Bauer-esque um, approach where I was going to reverse engineer voice to skull technology and um, capture his voice and bring it to Homeland Security but I just ended up getting wicked diarrhea so uh, yeah. that, having that said that I'd like to introduce the first act ladies and gentlemen Mr. Nathan Plummer yeah. suggestion. G's up, hose down, right guys? <laughs> I don't consider it weird when I hear Red Lobster's slogan, come hungry, leave happy. But I do think it's weird to read a sign in my dad's front yard that says the same thing. <laughs> I just wish he wouldn't spell come C-U-M. <laughs> I was at work today. I am a waiter. I work a lot and I've been working really hard lately and I've found myself replacing sleep with alcohol and I've discovered that they have two things in common. Seeing your mom naked and boners. <laughs> I recently started getting boners. <laughs> By get, I mean understand. <laughs> <laughs> On a related note, I discovered I'm allergic to parrots. I don't consider it hoarding to keep my ex-girlfriend's panties. I see it as dinner. I don't want you guys to poop your pants 
but Valentine's <coughs> Day is coming up. <laughs> in like a year. <laughs> but I did my shopping early. My ex-wife sews a lot, so I got her some chocolate-covered needles. My ex-girlfriend is a junkie, so I also got her some chocolate-covered needles. And my boyfriend is very accommodating, so I got him some knee pads. They are chocolate-colored. But what's love got to do with it? Does anyone else here have a cell phone? So my birthday was not that long ago. <laughs> was anyone else here born? <laughs> One of you. I decided that for my birthday, I would celebrate by getting laid. No, no, go ahead and answer it. I've turned, I've turned it off. It's okay, maybe, maybe I can talk to him for a minute. So, Decided I'd celebrate my birthday by getting laid. But it's really hard to get laid at Chuck E. Cheese when you turn 45. <laughs> Darn, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I was outside the ball pit and a woman approached me and she said, They're all so cute. Which one's yours? And I said, I don't know, which one do you think is the sluttiest? <laughs> do you have dibs on any of them? So then I had to pay for an abortion. The abortion clinic was also a Taco Bell. There was a pro-life protester outside that had a sign that read, Abortions? Nachos? Life? <laughs> I ate a lot of sweets today. I must be getting my period. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm such an asshole. I was at the gym the other day and I saw a pregnant woman get on the Stairmaster. And so I went up to her and said, ma'am, you're nine months pregnant. I don't think you should be on the Stairmaster. She looked at me and said, I'm not nine months pregnant. And I said, yes, ma'am, I believe you are. <laughs> I know pregnant when I see it. <laughs> So then the next day I was at the gym and I saw a child lifting weights. And as you know, lifting weights stunts your growth. So I went up to the young man and I said, young man, you shouldn't lift weights. And he looked at me and said, I'm not a young man, I'm a little person. And I said, I know you're a little person and if you keep lifting weights, <laughs> You'll never grow up to be a big person. <laughs> and it's winter time, and it snows in winter time. And the last time it snowed, I was at the grocery store, and a 92-year-old woman slipped and fell in the parking lot, and she started screaming, I broke my hip! And I was the only one around. And I realized that the only thing I could do was to try to console her and maybe make her laugh. So I walked over to her and her hip was all mangled and gnarled looking. And I looked at her and said, Snow doubt about it, your hip's broken. <laughs> she didn't really laugh either. So I spent a lot of time by myself. This morning I woke up and I had a nice game of what's that smell and whose boner is this in bed. <laughs> and then later 
I was still in bed. And I was drinking milk and listening to The Cure and looking at pictures of you. <laughs> Do you guys remember that time that we went to Aruba? <laughs> I got real drunk and got that rustic colored pot leaf tattoo on my ass. <laughs> you got so sunburnt. So then in the afternoon, I decided I would take a nap. And I was lying there trying to go to sleep. And coincidentally, I heard some men in the alley across the way talking about how they also wanted to go to bed. But they were talking real hard about it. And they were saying, You want to go night-night? <laughs> you want to go night-night? 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 You are on night night. 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 I live on the wrong part of Sesame Street. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's my time. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don Wade. Yay! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a song that uh, we like to sing down in Florida. You might like it. Uh, it's, uh, you want, I want you to sing, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go when the hurricane blows. <laughs> Have you got that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go when the hurricane blows. Depends on where you're from, I guess. Huh? 
I'm from North Carolina, we say buffet. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn it over to the next act. Oh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll do that. <laughs> Sorry. That's all my funny stuff. <laughs> I run out of funny real fast. Oh, shit. Oh, that's, that's, good. that's funny. That's the funniest thing so far. <laughs>